All right, preparing for the sprint dragon carry event of the ACFT. You want to perform short bouts of exercise, so a few seconds to about two minutes at a high intensity, followed by adequate recovery. So the goal is not to run yourself into the ground, kill yourself um, with these high intensity interval trainings. Um, five to 15 minutes of high intensity training, two to three days a week on a weekly basis, so not just once a month, not every now and then, so regularly, uh, is enough to prepare you for the sprint dragon carry. I don't want you to, I want your workouts to energize you. I don't want you to chase the soreness and feel like, oh, I'm sore today and that must have been a great workout. Yes, soreness will happen every now and then. Soreness will happen in the beginning. But it's not something that should be happening all the time. You shouldn't feel beat up and fatigued each week from your workouts. You should feel energized and ready to go with full power and strength. So that is why recovery is key for this type of training. I would rather you have, if you're doing five sprints, so 20 second sprint, um, every minute on the minute for five minutes. I would rather full powered sprints, five of them, than two full power strong sprints in the beginning and then uh, three half ass sprints to finish it out. Okay, that is not gonna get you optimal, optimal results and the best results for this event and for training overall. So, Full on sprint, quality performance, walk back, recover. Recover enough that you're able to give that same um, performance each time, okay? So kind of leave that walk in, crawl out <clears throat> mentality at the door and train smart. So here are some examples and some training ideas for this event. soldiers. You need four items. Right now I have three cones, so you want three that are about the same, and then one different item. The object, the goal for this is to move that one item around the grid until it makes it back to the starting position. So this is what it looks like. which can be anything, uh, medicine ball, sandbag, bumper plate. Uh, you can just have another cone. You can wear a vest to perform this drill, uh, a weighted vest. Um, you're going to pop up, sprint forward, lateral shuffle, back pedal, lateral shuffle, and continue that grid until you've moved that object all the way around and brought it back to the initial point. All right, so you're working in all planes of motion. Um, you're getting low on the ground, touching the ground. This is a great um, drill to work with the sprint dragon carry. This is too small of a space. It's just to show you. So I recommend using, uh, you can use your backyard, your front yard, a basketball court. Um, so obviously a bigger space to get the full benefits of this exercise. And, um, and it's
it's great for the family. So you can throw this out there, kids will get involved. Um, they'll have a lot of fun with it. You can add this to your soldier's PT. Um, there's so many things you can do with this. I highly recommend it for the Sprint Dragon Carry. Um, make it challenging, but have fun. Thank <laughs> you.